I am going to scream. Hello and welcome to Being Told News, you've already heard 500 other times. So you probably already know this, but to recap, in late 2022, it was announced that Hasbro would be partnering with Basic Fun to reboot LPS after they were effectively discontinued in 2020. This was obviously very exciting for the LPS community, a bunch of people were speculating about it and making videos, and I even made a video myself, which is very, very outdated. And that was pretty much all the information we got, besides a few very small updates, right up until a few days ago. So first off, Basic Fun was at LPS Cons year, which is super cool, and I'm going to get into that in a minute, but first I'd like to quickly go over a few small updates on their website. Firstly, Lil's Pet Shop has now been added to their list of brands. When you click on it, it'll bring you to this page with the new logo and presumably brand mascot, with a statement which reads, The wait is almost over. We are beyond thrilled to have the honor of bringing back everyone's favorite collectible pet figurines, Lil's Pet Shop in partnership with our friends at Hasbro. The team has been hard at work in the toy shop to make sure everything is just perfect. There will be lots of exciting updates in the coming months as we prepare for the big day. Use the form below to subscribe to our updates and be the first to know everything LPS and gain access to insider exclusives reserved just for our pet-tastic community. And then there's a form to fill out for set updates. And there's also another form you can fill out if you want to become an ambassador or whatever that means. <laughs> to be completely honest, I'm not 100% sure what that even entails. Seems like everyone else knows, but I do not. Also, I suppose you should say influencer instead of ambassador. But anyways, the statement itself doesn't give us that much to go off of, but the wait is almost over does imply that LPS will be released relatively early in 2024 rather than later, which has been basically confirmed because of other things that I'll get into in a minute. But also, the ambassador thing is quite interesting, even if I'm too stupid to understand what it is. Regardless, having LPS actually mentioned on their website makes things feel a lot more official to me in my stupid little brain. Honestly, what I really want to talk about with this is the new logo and mascot shown on the page. As you can see, the logo is very reminiscent of past LPS logos. Obviously, having the panda there is similar to this G2 logo, but I actually think it looks a lot more like the G4 logo because of the way the words are shaded. I think it looks pretty nice in general. I've said the word logo too many times. <laughs> I love the mascot, or at least that's what I'm assuming that panda is, so I'm gonna keep calling her that. She has a, like, really pretty design in my opinion, and I'm really hoping they make her into an actual physical LPS. Even if they don't, I think her existence is a good sign we're going to get at least some good designs in the reboot, which is something I was initially very worried about. I have lucky pets trauma. Her design also really reminds me of 558, which isn't really either a good thing or a bad thing, it's just a thing I noticed. Also, the fact that she has the heart design in her eyes could be a sign that they're going to at least partially bring back the eye symbols, which would be super cool in my opinion. Also, what does it say about me that I can tell exactly which LPS are in this particular picture literally just based on the eyes? <laughs> Alright, let's get into the interesting stuff. Basic Fun at LPS Con. Basic Fun hosted a panel at LPS Con this year where I believe they basically were talking a bit about their plans for Little's Pet Shop, as well as getting people's opinions and feedback on certain things. Please keep in mind that I was not at LPS Con, I was not at the panel. So all the information I have about this is from other people who were there. So, you know, take this section with a grain of salt. The first and most exciting thing by far, in my opinion, is that they officially stated that yes, the reboot is going to be narration to LPS. Oh my god. So I want to lay out all the information and talk about that before I really start sharing my own thoughts on this, because I have like a lot of crap to say, but like it's been 12 years! Ah! Next thing is that apparently during the panel, Basic Fun slightly hinted about potentially making LPS Axolotl mold. This probably isn't set in stone yet, but it would definitely make a lot of sense since Axolotls are like super popular right now. Them and frogs, but we already have an LPS frog mold as you can see here. <laughs> They also, according to some people, asked for suggestions for future LPS molds from the people there, which is super cool if that's the case. It really seems like Basic Fun is taking the thoughts of the LPS community into consideration with the reboot, which I think is a really good sign. And the last biggish piece of information is about the release date. Well, not an exact date, just a general time frame, which is early 2024. I don't know why, but I seem a lot less excited about this than a lot of people. My sense of time is just so screwed that January 2024 and December 2024 are basically just the same thing to me at this point. So there you have it. I have many, many feelings and emotions, and most of them are actually quite positive. I always like to say skeptical with stuff, but I just want to be excited for this, alright? I want to be the one who's excited and not the one who tells them to calm down and not get their hopes up too high, even though that makes way more sense. I don't know. It's just crazy how around this time last year I was planning to make an Is LPS Tube Dying type video, where my conclusion would basically be that LPS Tube will inevitably die out because of the fact that LPS themselves are gone for good. I'm glad I never made that video because it would have aged like trash and also it would have just generally been such a bummer. This <laughs> has just been all been so out of left field for me and I absolutely mean that in a good way. I'm not really one of the people who thinks this reboot is gonna like make the LPS community super popular again, but 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm just happy. In conclusion, there's still a lot of things we don't know, but I'm personally pretty excited despite that. I think from what we know, this seems like the best case scenario in terms of a lot of things. There will probably be some more updates in the coming months, and I'll personally be spending said months mentally preparing myself for the public humiliation of going into a twilight of a real life store and buying little pet shops as a very anxious, unfriendly looking 5 foot 8 teenager. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for watching. Also, basic fun, if you're watching this, you gotta make more alligators. This is a threat. Bye!